From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Welcome to Breaking News, where we don't know what we're about to say and we aren't allowed to smile or laugh. Live from the studio, I'm Kippy. <laughs> Right. Oops, sorry. Uh, didn't get that last part. What, what was it? Kippy Yee! One more time. Kippy Yee! <laughs> Out of the gate. Complete disaster. <laughs> Wild. Thanks, Kippy. I'm clearly new here. Tonight's Full top story weepy. is eyeballs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> I think if I laugh, I can get rid of it. <laughs> if I hold Wait, it Amy, just go like this. <laughs> I don't want to. Did you try? Did you try? This show is keeping me from breaking. Can we start over? <laughs> no, that's not how this works. We absolutely can't start over. You have to say the words on the screen. Okay, uh, that's right. <clears throat> These weird little grapes can do all sorts of dumb shit, from making us sad to making us horny. And guess what? What? <laughs> uh, even cows have them. What? Cows get horny? Aruga. <sighs> Aruga, indeed. Turns out, since the inception of man, we've always had those little slimy sea spheres in our shitty heads. Some people watch movies with them, others watch birds. And the birds watch them. What? It's a two-way street. We've got eyes, birds have eyes. Bada bing. No, it can't be. Birds <laughs> have eyes. <laughs> we now go live to our field reporter and resident tree expert, tree reporter, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou? Thanks for asking. Clearly, but I think you meant where fur art thou? That's a tree pun for those of you tree enthusiasts out there. Oh, all two of you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm done. I know. Today's a special whittle day for all our twees heel in this whittle field. <laughs> because it's every tree's first birthday, or should I say, birch day. You shouldn't. That's right. One year ago today, we planted 10 kinds of trees right here in this very field. And I'm going to list them right now. Birch, maple, ash, rowan, hawthorn, Douglas fir, blue spruce, uh, cherry, apple, lemon, orange. That's 11. Yeah. Great job, Romeo. We have a list right here and everything you said was true, even the last one. The fruits really saved you at the end there. I remembered halfway through that every fruit has got its own kind of tree. Yeah, I was pretty confident. Really said it with my chest, nut. Enough of that bullshit! Truly insufferable. We now have a wonderful little treat for our audience tonight, a little hometown segment with our very own clearly new here's mother. What the fuck? We now go live to Mama New here. Mama? Thanks, Kippy! And watch your shitty little mouth, piss boy. You may be too old to call your hot mama, but you're never too old for a spanking. <laughs> mom, mom, mama. <laughs> mama? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Mama. What? Mama. <laughs> not sure if Amy's actually in trouble or not. Are you talking? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> so sad sounding. <laughs> Mama, do you have do you have any embarrassing little stories about clearly? 
Do I? I remember this one time, clearly it was about nine or 13, and he ran into the room just absolutely covered in butter. <laughs> I mean, sopping wet, head to naked toe and a hard cow cream, you see? Or you feel? And he runs into the room and he tries to stop, but a mix of inertia, milky lubricant, and the sins of his ancestors made it so he kept slipping and sliding right out the door. Didn't see him for two days or years, one of the two. I told you that if you told that story ever again, I'd spank you. And I told you if you laid one hand on these matronly buns, I'd get you arrested for grand larceny, you little pervert! Wow, whew, you can really feel the tension in here. Oh, uh -oh. That's my thing. I already did that. Oh, sorry, I should have said, uh, Tuga! We gotta wrap this up. But before we do, Mama, did you have any other embarrassing things to share? Oh, of course. <laughs> my little son, Okay, he was always he was always big, he was always big into meat. That I couldn't was I couldn't get my son off the meat as a kid. The first time I spooned it into his mouth, it was pureed meat when he was a baby, and that's how he grew so huge. He couldn't stop himself from eating meat. And then one day, I get a call from the school principal. They said, "Mrs. Newhere," I said, "What is it?" And they said, "It clearly's gotten into the meat trough again." And I said, "No, I told him he can't go in there." And then they said, "They said he knew that, but he got the keys. He got the keys. He broke into the locker room. He went into the." meat trough and he's got himself doused in meat and I said, well, I'm tired of this. Sorry, let me double back on part of this. So there's a locker room at your child's school with a it's meat you. trough. It's you! Baby need that meat. <laughs> Baby need that meat. Did you meat. not know the bit is that she's your mom? What? She's my mom. I'm, <laughs> mom. I'm clearly new here. <laughs> Yes, that's what the viewers want, a deep dive into the... This is the lore. The world's logic. Wait. What's the world building I'm of clearly this new here. That's clearly new here's and mama. And my son goes, my wife's son... I enjoy son, the meat from the meat My wife's son truck. loves I meat. Love he went to an elementary <laughs> school with a gym locker room Ever since with she spooned it in my mouth as a child. I spooned it in his mouth, pure it, Gerber <laughs> baby pure it. <laughs> Into his newborn mouth, okay. I couldn't breastfeed. Reminder for all our breaking news fans out there, we depend on you guys to update the breaking news wiki, where we explore <laughs> all well. of the character of the ongoing storyline of this show. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Well, I'm glad we settled that. Before we go, we have to announce that our loser this week is me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching! <laughs> that, that face failed me too many times. That is, that is a betrayal of a face. Holy shit. Hi. I still don't know what I'm about to say because I'm a big stupid idiot. If you like that video, you can go to hell. And then you can go to dropout.tv to start your free trial today. For every episode of breaking news that's here, there's another episode only available on dropout.tv. Until next time, I'm Grant O'Brien, which is Irish for Grant of Brian.